Hey everyone, uh, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, put your own focus gears uh, on whichever manual focus lens you're using for HD SLR video work. The reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I needed to do to put focus gears on my lenses for, for video work so that I could have uh, manual control of my focus using a follow focus. Uh, I looked at on B&H and uh, I saw that the focus gears were running anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars and they didn't really look that great for a little piece of plastic and a couple screws and I figured I'm gonna try and make my uh, my own ones and see if I could get something that was gonna work better and and be cheaper so I've managed to find a way to make um, follow focus gears uh, for about fifteen dollars a lens and I'm sure you're gonna like the way they work let me show you so the lenses I use right now are the Contax Carl Zeiss lenses. Um, very good glass. Uh, here's an example of one of the follow focus gears. It consists of a little rubberized ring and then your 0.8 pitch focus gears on the outside. Uh, this is very solid. It's not going to come off. It will come off if you want it to. All you need is an exact knife and you can cut it off. It's kind of a single use application but uh, if you if you don't want to take them take them off they'll be on there for as long as you want them to be uh, let's get let's get started so here's what you'll need first things first uh, you'll need a lens this is a hundred mil Carl Zeiss lens uh, next thing you're gonna need uh, you can order these from B&H it's a Zakuto zip gear replacement uh, I think there's only one type it's a 0.8 pitch uh, this is the uh, 16 inch size and I, like I said, I think that's the only one you get that runs about $10 uh, Next thing you're going to need is this uh, fixable coupling. It basically connects uh, You can get it in a hardware store in the plumbing section and what it does is it connects 2 inch piping to 2 inch piping uh, Fairly inexpensive, um, but I find that uh, these little things really come in handy and you'll see why uh, this will run you about six dollars at most hardware stores uh, next thing you're going to need is uh, crazy glue uh, this one is really good for bonding rubber and plastic it's actually it's strong points and if you look at the back here on the packaging uh, usage is for rubber and uh, plastic it's got three stars I guess that means it's really good for bonding rubber and plastic which is good for us Next thing you'll need is an X-Acto knife, the sharper the better. Uh, another thing you're going to need will be some sort of file and I'll show you why we need that later. So when you're at the hardware store, good idea, take your lens, uh, lens with you, um, go to the plumbing section and uh, find where they have these uh, flexible couplings. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's just uh, what they use to connect. Uh, PVC piping or met metal piping together. This one is for two inch piping. Uh, then you want to try and fit it onto your lens. Uh, it's got to almost be a size that almost seems like it's not really going to fit. Um, that's good because uh, you want it to really be quite um, tight on your lens. That way it won't slip or come off. Um, we've got our piping. And we have something to cut it on it's time to actually do the cuts so uh, what I like to do is if you can see there there's a there's a little bit of a dip like a little bit of a groove um, I try and position the uh, that metal uh, ring so that it's par perfectly parallel all along the, all the way around just enough for the exacto blade to cut this way you'll know you're going to be cutting in a straight line uh, then position that over the um, over the um, pan can or uh, PVC pipe, whatever you're using, and tighten it down. Not too tight. You want to not damage the rubber, but tight enough that it's not going to go anywhere. Double check that you've got your line straight. And give it a, a tighten. 
Okay. So, with the X-Acto knife, you're going to be very careful. You want to pull it out so you've got a good section of blade. You want to be very careful because these things are very sharp. With uh, applying a firm pressure, just do one solid 360 degree turn. Um, this way you're not going to get any weird rubbery, jaggedy lines. Uh, so, yeah, it goes. I got the whole thing but I'm just gonna put the blade in the groove one more time and just make sure I'm all the way through now you see I, I've cut everywhere except for there so what I have to do now is uh, loosen this piece and uh, simply rotate the ring uh, until I've got a straight edge requires a little bit of patience but very tough for you to see there but I'm just getting it so that I'm cutting where I have not cut before okay so we're ready to cut the rest of this groove and you should have a nice clean cut ring all around the other side uh, now what you do is uh, actually you don't even have to loosen it just make sure it's straight and then you can simply do the same and cut along the ring until you have the other side I'm just straightening it out now Once again, we're going to do a cut. Okay. So what you should be left with is a uh, perfectly round ring. Pop that off. And there we have our uh, focus ring. 